Greg, I don't know if anybody's more suited as a hockey team to go into a three and three than a team that's only had one game and seems like in the last couple of weeks. Uh, how rested and how ready is this team for the weekend? Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, we've been able to be creative with our work to rest ratio, given the amount of space we've had between games. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a great weekend for us. Great challenge to have uh, three games in three days in three different cities. Uh, the consistency in which we'll need to, to play for the entire weekend uh, for us to have team success. What do you look at as far as uh, some of the departures go to the Leafs? Who do you bring in uh, from the Growlers to fill some of those roles? Yeah, we just brought up uh, Capcheck and Piacenero, who've been having a great season so far with the Growlers. Uh, they looked really good in practice today. Uh, Pets I've coached before in Chicago in the USHL. Uh, Capcheck, we had a little bit of time last year together. Both great guys, both great leaders. Uh, they're they're going to be a great addition for us here to go on this road trip. Uh, setting up for a 3-3, three and three, what, what's the message to some of these young guys, especially guys in the NCAA who you know used to two games in a weekend, but that third one can be tricky. Yeah, uh, just how hard it is to win this league in general. Now you got to put it in three games uh, in a row. Um, like I said before, just how we're managing our shifts, how we're managing our bodies, how we're being smart with our, our team play where we're not hemming ourselves in the D zone for too long and D are getting stuck in, uh, in extended shifts. Uh, we're going to have to manage the lines, we have to manage the puck, we have to play a very smart, methodical game.